I've once again purchased something that I shouldn't have. It's got quite a story and I probably shouldn't have done it. So I'm trying to come up with reasons to justify my actions in my head right now. I kind of just hid it in plain sight because when I bought it a couple months ago, I didn't really have a place to put it. I kind of just jammed it back here in this little corner of town. I'm going to get it out. Hopefully it's still there. And here it is. It's this John boat. She is a sleek, sexy machine. 16 foot of twisted steel and sex appeal. Actually, it's more like aluminum. And I know what you're thinking. This just looks like every other crappy John boat. And that's because it kind of is. An Alumacraft 16 foot John boat with bench seats from like the 70s. This actual boat is the boat that I owned when I was a kid, same exact boat that I bought off the guy in town that had let me borrow it when I was a kid. And I know I got gouged on the price because he told me he was gouging me right to my face. He was gonna scrap the boat. And he said, if you wanna buy it, I'm gonna scrap it. I said, all right, well, what's the scrap value? He said, a couple hundred dollars, I would think, but I know this boat's valuable to you. I'd like $600. Dude, I'll give you like 400 bucks for it. He said, no, I'll scrap it. Are you kidding me? I had to pay the money. This boat in particular does have sentimental value to me. Uh, and it came with all these leaves, which I mean, that's really a bonus. It did not come with the ratchet strap or the trailer. This thing is just a beauty. And she has been through the ringer to say the least. And when I was a kid, I did not do this boat any favors. Definitely showing her age. It's an aluminum boat that's lived its entire life in salt water. So it's honestly kind of amazing that it's still around. Transom is cut down. The previous owner had cut it down because all he had was a short shaft motor and it was set up for a long shaft. This may need repair, but um, I probably won't fix it. It's solid enough. It's not even made of mulch. This is a Ron John Surf Shop sticker that I stuck on this boat when I was a kid. 15 maybe when I got this boat. The boat belonged to a guy that I knew. He was in the military and he had to go overseas or something for a little while and he had this boat, it was just sitting, there was no motor. He said, well, hey, you know, well, I'm gone just so it doesn't sit, you know, you can use it. I had more fun in this boat. Ultimately kind of made me into who I am. I've owned 20 boats since this boat. I had one other boat before this boat. It was an eight foot row boat that I named the Mary Rose because I'd, I'd read some book about a lobster kid that had a little wooden skiff and that was the name of the skiff. It was a dinghy sailor tender, little round bottom boat, a little bathtub. And I had a five foot set of featherlight oars that my grandma Jean got me for Christmas. I was 11 when I bought that boat. I bought that boat out of the penny saver. You know, I wasn't allowed to use the internet when I was younger. So I would check the penny saver every time it came. Bought it for $175. And I used that boat up until I got this boat. I remember sitting at the back of this boat and looking forward. And I remember thinking, I cannot believe I have 16 foot of boat. I mean, it was almost twice as long is the boat that I had before this. I did everything in this boat, made friends in this boat, and I did everything I was not supposed to do in this boat. Such good memories. There is really no more freeing feeling than being a young kid. You have command of this. Just a feeling that I just remember so well. Well, I'll put you in 14, 15 year old Luke's shoes. Tell me if you think it's as glamorous as, as I remember it. This was my view. One, two, three bench seats. And that little one up there, motor back here, I actually still have the same motor. I was king of the world. The other boat, I did have a motor for it. I actually still have the motor. It's a four and a half horsepower Mercury. It was a piece of junk and missing 90% of the parts. But I was always working on it. I don't regret any of those things because I learned more wrenching on those old boats out of necessity. You know, when you really want something, just figured out how to make it work. I figured out how to fix it. I think that's important. I really hope that my kids can use this boat and enjoy it in the same way that I did when I was younger. I'm gonna try to take this boat on a little trip down memory lane. I just recently got married. I wanna take Lindsay in the boat that started it all. I couldn't let it go to the scrapyard, man. I just, I'm too sentimental. I think these actually may help uh, because if I'm running and they blow out, at least I'll have a trail back. I'll never get lost. I have not examined it too closely. It does have a few spots where you can see a little daylight. I don't remember that. Uh, when I had it before, oh man, I'm 27 now, holy crap. I had this boat when I was in high school. It makes me feel kind of old. It doesn't have any consoles, it's just a tiller boat. It's bare bones. And I like it because, hey, 
There's nothing to break except for, you know, the seats and they, they are broken. That's a problem for another video. When I had this boat, I hit about everything but the lottery in it. Piers, I hit all kinds of things, but hey, great boat to learn what not to do. Check out the bottom here. She definitely needs a coat of paint. Some of these little runners are a little corroded. There is a straight hole in that right there, but that's fine because that's not gonna make it leak. She's definitely a little bit of a project, but I think it's got good bones. Actually, I think the bones are have cancer. I am gonna take this boat and I'm not gonna fix it up at all. I'm gonna get it to float and I'm gonna use it. When I had it, it wasn't a nice boat. And I have it again, still ain't a nice boat, but she's not really meant to be a nice boat. She's just kind of meant to be used. And in case you're doubting that this is the actual boat that I had when I was a kid, I'll show you some proof that it did indeed belong to me. Drywall screw in the transom. Nylock nut where the bolt is not even touching the nylon. Those are two classic telltale loop signs. Here, it actually blew off of a truck. It fell on the highway and it crushed this side in and had to get popped back out and re-welded. You can't even see that side when you're back there having $10 million worth of fun in a $500 boat. And this boat, if it could talk, man, I'd probably be in jail. I need to play some musical trucks here. There is a couple prime automobiles. I'm sure you could purchase if you know the right guy. I actually kind of like this one. The ultimate crossover vehicle. If you have friends like me, then you know that even just trying to start something is totally a gamble. You cannot count on anything starting or not blowing up after you put the key in. Oh wow, it's actually got power. I'm nervous. Wow. Check washer fluid, seriously? should say check the rockers, there's nothing left. This is the one that I'm really excited about. This one's a custom job, but I don't know why Chevy didn't just think of this themselves. And it's got cruise control, look at that. My truck doesn't even have cruise control. Does not appear to start. We're gonna have to try to find a strap and then use the styrofoam truck to pull this one forward. Conveniently, there's always what you need laying around here, so. Oh, rope, wow. I wasn't expecting to actually find rope. Wow, that's a nice dock line. I'm always beyond shocked when I actually find the things that may actually work for the job the best. It's not even gonna pop the hood on the uh, convertible. I just am not confident that's really gonna change much of anything. Perfect. Hey, remember, you can't tie a knot, just tie a lot. We'll see if that holds. Looks uh, A-OK -okay to me. Honestly, can't even consider a world where this isn't gonna work perfectly. I'd say that's a win. Actually looks better now. I'm taking this rope with me. I'm gonna need it for my new boat. If I take Lindsay on a hot date. The hitch is stuck. There it is. Nothing but the highest quality Chinese pot metal. Come on. Not bad, not bad. Well, the chain's in quite fit, but I think that's probably not safe at all. It's got lights. Just plug those in over here. It's a short ride. I think it'll be fine. It is rush hour. Dang it! I hit a tree. I backed into that tree trying to get this out around that. I should just hit that. I think it'll buff. Things like this are the exact reason. I don't have nice stuff. I think I need to get this boat down to the marina and put it in the water. I'm kind of giddy like a kid. <laughs> I need to show Lindsay too. She's gonna be super excited. She's been talking about wanting a boat because all her friends, husbands and boyfriends got all these big, nice, fancy boats. But you know what they don't have? One of these. If I had to guess, I think Lindsay's gonna be very pleased with my purchase. Oh my God, there is some leaves coming out of this thing. Sorry. You got to show me. So you know how you've been wanting a boat for fun and all your friends have boats and their boyfriends and husbands have nice fancy boats? Uh -huh. I think you're gonna be pleased to see what I got us. All right? Okay. So you close your eyes. Is it a, a canoe? No, it's not a canoe. What do you think, we're poor? Open them up. Oh, wow. It's a boat. <laughs> lovely. Does it have a motor? Uh, it's to be determined. I think that we can fit a lot of people in here. I agree. I like the positive <laughs> attitude. I'm already excited for summer. <laughs> I'll just have to put it over in the uh, excellent vessel section, <laughs> including the boat that I got off the bottom for free and the Kawasaki mule that, uh, the things that don't currently run pile. The sinking feeling runs. The yes. Kawasaki mule, it would run, but it doesn't have a motor. <laughs> like this boat. You like this boat? I said it doesn't, you said it doesn't have a motor and I said like this. Boat. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is a problem that we have the technology to solve. And it has potential. Joel, I'm glad that you see the potential in this pivotal piece 
of the story here. I love it. First sea trial. Everybody knows it wouldn't be a date if you didn't bring your best friend. So I have my friend Riley here. You might remember him from uh, when we got that boat up off the bottom, got it running and took that to the same bar we're going to today. But if we can make it to the bar, then it passes the test. You haven't seen this boat before, have no, you? No, I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, well, um, here she is. What do you think? If it's anything like any other boat you've ever owned, it's going to sink. They just double as submarines. I try yeah. to get my money's yeah. worth. Lindsay looks excited. Bearing seats. Oh, wow. There's no motor, but we're at a marina, and I'm pretty sure I can find at least one running outboard around here. So we need something that's not terribly big, but we also need something that is not terribly small. So here we have one of the absolute worst motors ever made. It does run, but way too big, and we need something with a tiller because there's no steering console. Might run, I don't know. An Evero 30 that I do think runs, they both have tillers, so they could work. We have an electric trolling motor that could work, and we have this one. Yanmar 27 horsepower diesel outboard. That's gonna be a little too much for me to get started. New Yamaha six horsepower. It's totally against my nature to use things that actually work. For the sake of just testing the boat, I think I'm gonna be able to borrow this one, but I don't know how fast it's gonna push us. If you have an idea of how fast a six horsepower Yamaha is going to push a 16 foot boat drop a comment never probably have it outboard this new you know that this thing's way too nice to be mine <laughs> all right yeah, that's plenty low all right you, you get jb weld on this did it have holes like we do need uh Life some safety equipment because safety always comes third all right, so we got our navigation light. Can see the ground through that hole there. That's probably not ideal. I think we might have Pot River to fix that. Through. But I'm thinking if we just leave all the leaves in the bottom, then we can't see the other holes. We got a rivet right here. Just like that. Oh, uh, this bit's leaking right here. Sigh. Yep. <laughs> it's not leaking. That's a serious rivet gun. They all, oh, yeah. that was a good sound. We're good, look at this, we're about to fix it. Why is the rivet gun not working? Aren't you supposed to be the one with the master plan? Well, My you... master plan was to not even fix the hole, but you guys all think Pushes. that we need to fix this hole. That's perfect. Look at that. That's sealed. Problem solved. We even got a real drain plug. I was gonna jam that stick in there. Come through with a real drain plug. We got some paddles, Riley, just in case. Oh. I don't know what happened to it. Just yeah. grab it lower, there you go. We may actually need to uh, bring the rivet gun as well. Maybe a bucket to bail or something. I don't think we're gonna need that, but we might need it. Here's the world's worst bailing bucket. This, this one will work. I was mainly looking to see if I saw any water coming in. It's a boat, dude. It's for the water. Now we gotta get this thing started, which should in theory be the easier part, but I honestly don't even know how to operate things that are this new. I hear zero combustion. I yeah, switched to external tank. Go. Never in my life ever had a little outboard that actually idled. The fact that this is not my motor means that it actually has a good chance of operating properly. We even got a fancy dock line. We got all of our safety equipment. We're Coast Guard approved. Maiden voyage. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice. There's Weibo. We're off. We got these nice fancy seats. What are you doing, Lindsay? I'm trying to get the leaves out. It's not working very well though. Yeah. I think you'll have them out by the time we get there. In three hours. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> I let go of the handle and we started doing a donut. And I grabbed it. Oh, see, we're cavitating right there. Which means it's getting air wrapped around the prop and then the prop is over revving, losing traction on the water. This boat really needs a kind of a long shaft motor. It's a really foggy day out today and fog is my least favorite thing to navigate in, especially when I'm crabbing. This is fine. We're just rolling around the creek. I know this creek like the back of my hand. Really awesome to be back on the actual boat I had when I was a kid. Now with my wife and my friend, enjoying this uh, beautiful December day. Yes. Should maybe get rid of some of the leaves in here, just so we can see if we're sinking. Oh man, got a steers too. Oopsies. You can hit rock, Kyle's rock pile. See this is what we get for moving the leaves? That's not great. But uh, Lindsay, I think if you just put your foot over it, we'll there you go. It. Wow, look at that. I told you we should leave the leaves in there. It's fixed, non-issue, right? <laughs> that is trippy out. 
Look at that. Wow, it is foggy. Some ducks flying by out here, little buffle heads. When I was a kid, I built my own duck hunting blind and I made all my own duck decoys as well. Came right out here on Bakken and, and hunted duck. I'm like reliving all of my poor childhood memories right now. I'm having a blast. Despite the boat sinking, it's, I'm really not that worried about that. Can you check and see? Nothing. It's seriously empty? Yeah. Why would he even put it in here if it was empty? The plot thickens. <laughs> I, th I think we're going to be okay. I don't know. There's no gas gauge. Kid, this fog is so thick. I, I really thought we were going the other way. We just went in a circle. I mean, we can't even see shore. It's so disoriented. We are actually right by the gas stop here in the vodka. I'm going to stop in and see if there's anybody there. This tank holds, I think, almost a gallon of gas. You think there's going to be anybody here? Absolutely. Does it say closed? Oh, it says closed. Oh no. If you want the real origin story, my grandparents owned one of these houses up here and they renovated it and they had a lady living there renting the property. There's a giant steep hill there. I didn't care. I was willing to drag a boat up and down and a motor up and down that hill every day after school. In order to have money to be able to fund my habit of being on the water, I started cutting her grass. And then I also started cutting all the neighbors grass. That's actually how I bought my first boat. Now my grandparents have moved into this house and that here over there is where I used to keep this boat. I know all the neighbors really well. They're all very good friends of mine now. They've watched me go from rowboats to boats like this to work boats like what I have now. Maybe we'll swing in and see if my grandparents are home and say hi. Right in her spot where she spent a lot of her life, right in between these two piers. This little spot of the bulkhead, I used to have a little makeshift boat ramp. I had two boards on hinges that went down into there and I could pull my eight foot rowboat up and down. Well, that was a success visited the grandparents. This super steep hill, I used to pull the boat up and down this hill. There she is, she's a beauty. Look at that thing. Pull my foot. I don't want to pull a Cody and fall in. Yeah, <laughs> or a Luke. Whoa. Oh, it, does, it seems colder out now. It also seems like there's a little bit more water in the boat. It's the same. Is. Did you mark it? Yeah. <laughs> That's confidence. We're gonna go pick up our friend Cody. He also may be bringing me a water bottle full of gas. <laughs> Don't know which one I peed in and which one has gas in it. Taste them. <laughs> Here, hold my beer. Nice. Woo, there we go. Cody's a good friend. He brought me two water bottles full of gasoline so we don't run out. What do you think, Cody? I, I think we're good. Um, no problems, I see. See if you slide a leaf over it? Yep, it's fine. No problems here. This is shaping up to literally be just like the old days. I have all my same friends in the same boat. And it's still sinking, just like it used to. We're gonna put some of this gas in. It doesn't even hold a full water bottle full of gas. That's pretty good. Really? Okay, I don't even know what we were worried about. We got plenty. <laughs> we can go to, we can go bar hopping with that. We're good. And if we get thirsty. There she is, the old circus tent. The rumor reel. They do have public dockage back there, but I know that they like to put all the really nice boats right out front, kind of make it look like a high rollers club. I think we're gonna park right out front. They got these big catamarans and all this stuff, and I think we're gonna fit right in. Probably the nicest boat here, if I had to guess. We made it, the local watering hole. Hey. If it isn't my friend that has my uh, logo tattooed on his butt cheek. It's getting a little late. We're wondering if the boat is still floating. There's a chance it's not. Riley, you got us nav lights? Look at that, we got nav lights. We're, We're good for miles. another couple rounds. Drum roll. Oh, dude, she's floating. She's good. But you guys are whiny, whiny, whiny. We even got nav lights. We're totally legal. See you, buddy. Good luck, losers. <laughs> well, we ran out of gas. We're not at the dock. And the motor is shut off. I'm hoping it's gonna get us home. That was not much gas at all. All right, we're good. We used our water bottle for the We are underway. We made it back to the marina. You got it? Let's run her up on there. Coming in hot. Is the motor off? It's off. I hope it's off. Well, folks, I think that was successful. Did you, you know, pull the plug? Oh, dude, look. We didn't even take on any water. There. One out of ten. Rate right it. An eight. Lindsay approved. Anything over a seven is Lindsay approved. Riley, what do you think? One out of 10? 10. 10? All right, perfect. I'm saying 10 out of 10, because we didn't die.